Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about expandable bottom set in Flutter using Gitx. This is what I am going to create. Now here you can see in the text it is displayed expansion status dot contracted because initially the expandable bottom set is in the contracted state, right? Now if I click here, then the expandable bottom set is expanded and the content is displayed in this green container, right? Now if I click here in this cloud icon, then you can see the status has been changed to expansion status dot expanded, okay? Now how to create this, that portion I will discuss, okay? Now to create this expandable bottom set, in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this dependency expandable bottom set, okay? Now after taking this dependency, I have synchronized the project. Now in the home view, I will write the code to use the expandable bottom set. Now here what I will do, I will take body. Inside the body, I will use expandable bottom set which is provided by that particular library which I have taken in the pubspec.yml file, right? Now in background, in background what I will do, I will use a container, okay? And in the container, I will set the color as colors dot deep purple ascent okay now as a child of the container as a child of the container here i will use the center widget now in the center widget as a child i will take a text widget in the text widget i will write here background okay and in the style, I will use text style. In the text style, I will specify the font size as 20 and in color, I will specify the color as colors dot white. Okay. Now here, I will use and the property which is called as expandable content okay this is the required attribute which must be used with the expandable bottom set this background and expandable content are the two required attributes which must be used with the expandable bottom set right now in the expandable content what i will do is that i will simply copy this paste it here and for this container, I will change the color to let it be green and I will set the height as 500. Here I will change the text to content, okay? And the color will be white, okay? Now up to this, let me save, fine. Now here what I will do, I will use one more property which is called as persistent header, okay. In persistent header, again, I will simply copy this, paste it here and for this header, I will set the color as blue and I will set the height of the container as 40. Here I will change the text to header and the color text color will be white. Now remember this persistent header, header attribute is optional, right? If I save this, now if I show you the output, then you can see this background is displayed with deep purple ascent color. This header is displayed with the blue color, right? Now if I drag this, then you can see this content is displayed here inside the container having the green color right now here i will use one more optional attribute which is called as persistent footer okay and inside the persistent footer i will write this code here what i have done i have simply set the color as red i have set the height of this container as 60 after that as a child of this container i have taken a row and as a children of the row i have taken three icon buttons as you can see for the first one the symbol is array arrow upward and the icon color is white for the second icon button the icon is cloud 
and the color is white and for the third one the icon is arrow downward and the color is white okay now i will write uh, what will happen whenever these icons will be pressed later on right now up to this if i save the project and if i can show you the output then you can see here this footer is created with these three icons okay now what i want is that whenever this icon will be clicked at that time the expandable bottom set will be expanded whenever i will click here down means whenever i will click on this down array then the expandable bottom set will be contracted and whenever i will click on this cloud icon at that time it will display the status expansion status whether it, it is expanded or it is contracted okay that portion i will do and to do that in the home controller here i will create a global key okay global key and this global key will be of type expandable bottom set okay and let me give the name as key equals to new global key fine bottom set it will be expandable bottom set state right now here i will declare one more variable that is expansion status okay this variable will contain whether the bottom set is in the expanded status or in the contracted status okay and here i will write expansion status dot initially i will initialize it with the value contracted because initially it will be in the contracted state okay and i will make it reactive with the help of dot obs fine now i will move to the home view part in the home view part here whenever this upward arrow will be pressed at that time the expansion bottom state should be in the expanded state and to do that here i will write controller dot key dot current state dot expand okay similarly whenever i will click on this particular uh, uh, icon at that time it should display the current expansion status and to do that here i will write controller dot expansion status dot value equals to controller dot key dot current state dot expansion status this means whenever i will click here on this cloud icon at that time whatever be the current status of the expanded bottom set that will be stored inside this variable right and whenever this downwards arrow icon will be clicked at that time the expanded bottom set should be contracted and to do that i will simply copy this paste it here and instead of expand here i will use the contract method right sorry it should be contract fine now here i will do one more thing what is the current expansion status that i will display here in this text okay so what i will do i will wrap it inside the obx widget fine and here i will use plus controller dot expansion status dot value dot two string so whatever with the current expansion status that will be displayed with this particular text fine now up to this let me run it now let me show you the output this is the output as you can see initially the expansion status is contracted okay now here i will do one more thing for this expanded bottom set in the key attribute i will specify controller dot key okay now let me save this once again move to the output now if i click here then you can see it is expanded and you can see if i click on this status then the expansion status is middle okay now let me click here then it is contracted let me click on this icon once again then you can see it is displaying expansion status dot contracted okay now here what i want is that whenever i will click on this header 
at that time the expanded bottom sheet should toggle to do that here I will use one more attribute which is called as enable toggle I will make it true ok now let me save this move to the output now once I click on this header then you can see I can toggle by clicking on this header right now this expandable bottom sheet contains some more optional attributes that I will discuss now here you can see here I have written the purpose of each and every attributes as you can see in enable toggle I have written this is optional and what is the purpose this will enable tap to toggle option on header this means whenever I will click on header it will enable the toggle option for the expandable bottom sheet similarly for background I have specified what is the purpose whether it is optional or required for enable expandable content also here I have written this is for persistent header this is for persistent footer and now it contains some more optional attributes as you can see it contains persistent content height if I uncomment this and if I run the project once again then you can see the output here by default it is expanded up to the height of 200 this means if we use this persistent content height this means the content extend will be at least this height ok and so when I run the project then it is extended up to this particular height which I have specified in the project right similarly it has on is contracted callback means whenever it will be contracted then this callback will be executed and when it is extended then this callback will be executed this is the animation duration for extend this is the animation duration for contract by default its value is 250 and this is the animation type animation curve expand here I have specified bounce out here I have specified curves.easy by default it is curves.easy ok now if I save this and if I run it once again then you can see the animation type is bounce out ok this is how we can use expandable bottom set in flutter using getx I hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching